Hello, good day. We are back with another episode of Techno Blog. Uh, with me is Emil Wilkins, and we're here for another awesome episode. Alright, so what are we talking about today, Emil? Today, we're going to be talking about another local app called LinkUp SVG. Okay. Alright, so LinkUp SVG. So even what is a link up? Right. So link up is a directory app that was recently launched. Mm -hmm. um, according to his Facebook page, mm -hmm. link up is St. Vincent's free mobile app to find skilled persons, businesses, deals, events, and events. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, the app is available on Android and iOS, iOS devices. Um, so the app gives you a list of various businesses and events and deals across the Vincent and the yeah, yeah. Um, you, When you use the app, you will see pictures of the business logo or event. You will have a link to the so their social medias and their contact information and a place to leave your comments. Exactly. So we have been using the app for a while to see, you know, what we are thoughts are. So we're gonna be telling you what are the positives of the app and some of the things that we see. Um, or some things that are some improvement. Uh, improvement. Like, yeah. That's not yeah, yeah, that's about your mark. Improvements. Improvements. <laughs> improvements. <laughs> um, so what do you think about it? Well, 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 well you want to well, go first? You want to go first? Which one? Alright. Alright. So yeah. First off, um, mm -hmm. the app is really gorgeous. It's a Beautiful app. Um, it's colorful. It's neat, and it's just lovely. It's catchy. It is yeah. um, the icon iconography. <laughs> that is the word. <laughs> the icons are pretty cool. Yeah. I like them. They're well designed. Mm -hmm. um, it's it look is eye catching. Yeah. So each category has its own unique icon That's to right. it. So it's it looks. I think it looks really, really, really good. Definitely. And it's easy to use and understand. So, yeah. anybody so, could get a handle of this. Yeah. Yeah, straight up the bags, when you open the app, you realize, okay, this is what it does. Mm -hmm. You have the directory, you have deals, you have menu, which is for food and so then you have events, and then you have more tab. On the directory page, there's a list of the different business categories. And each category then has a sub list of the businesses that yeah. are within the category. Very simple, very easy to understand. Yeah. And you that? Oh, the app is free as well. well so the app is free. <laughs> <laughs> free is always good. Yeah, free is always good. <laughs> so that's a plus. So it's yeah. free. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. So gorgeous, colorful, neat, well structured, well categorized. From the get go, you can see. Um, what is about and so what are some things that you would like to see improved? What do you think? What are you thinking? Well, first off, um, I think I like to be able to use the app when I'm away from Wi-Fi or uh, when I, if I don't have data. I think. Okay. Yeah, that's that's I think our number one issue mm -hmm. is the ability to use the app without data or Wi-Fi. Okay. So some of these stuff. So even if Let's say you start the app for the first time on data, mm -hmm. you pull up all of the information and then when you leave you could yes. use the application because it shows an error, um, no internet connectivity and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah. And it would also benefit when we start favoriting right. our businesses and services. Exactly. Um, you know, you will be able, some of us don't have data and we won't be around Wi-Fi mm -hmm. all the time. You know, you might favorite one of the businesses and you go in town and you have the map that's because the app has a map itself in it. Um, some of these features would be useful if it was offline use as well, especially when you favor them, because when you favor them it means that you'll be going back to that right. you know to get some more information. Right? So that's something we would like to see happening update version right. of the future. And I think also the position of the favorite list. Um, it would have been nice if the favorites list were more prominent. Right now it's tucked away inside of the more tab. 
and it's separated in events separated events menu and the actual directory for the favorites so if you, if you look here how much clicks you got again yeah i do a, a bit of clicks here to get your favorites one two um if it was like a main a main tab in the menu bar then that would be pretty cool yeah and then you have a top menu with um the events the directory and the menu items so you have a favorites that is right there for you because we literally the directory is supposed to provide you with a quick access to the things that you want and everything that you want in the favorites list that should be a prominent um, yeah. feature yeah and I think, I think I think that's it that's it uh, other than that the app is pretty good it's pretty good yeah it's pretty good yeah. I like it I like it I I, my, I only wish I could use it on Windows. <laughs> Not you. I don't. I don't think Microsoft makes Windows phone apps anymore. Oh, man. Um, so dedicated developer time to Windows Phone boy. We need. We need. We really need some better Windows Phone. Right? Uh, A bigger market share that was like zero point one percent. Anyway, so, but yeah, that has been another episode. Um, join us next week with hopefully uh, another episode for you. Yeah. Hope you like it. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our pages. And yeah, that's, that's it. it. <laughs>